Now, I'm not in this scene. Obviously, that would be sort of slightly strange if I was. Um, but what was that? Yeah, that would have been. Yeah, it should have been Benedict in the corner. Brothers, we brothers stick together <laughs> through thick and thin. <laughs> I think for the set, it's a really important moment that because it does. I think when you see them rutting against a tree, you go, "This is not just a period drama as we know it. This is not Austin. Mm -mm. This mm -mm. is real people trying to get by and and having all sorts of." Um, life experiences within a very strict society. So I think it's quite, it should be quite an impactful moment. And it felt impactful as we were doing it because it was, you know, a very, you know, it was a, a baptism. Very rough tree. <laughs> it was a very rough tree. <laughs> this tree was really helpful because it had foot holdings to help old Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that was mount, the only mount, tree that Mount the those. tree. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Mount the tree, Mount, mount Sienna. I'm basically on the shelf for this my third season and I just want to look amazing because it's just not working for me clearly so then I want my corset to be tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter so I look really really really, really thin and really attractive really Bessie on. Carter an excellent fainter yeah really fell good. forward on her face big feather headdress it's really fun to film but it's really, really fun shocking to watch. and got the queen's face when she looked down and then just slowly looked up at me, I felt really, really hot under the collar. Golda Rashevel, our queen, yeah. judging her. Lots of, what What are the dogs? Pomeranians? Oh, yeah. No, the real queen has been corgis. I got <laughs> I confused, I was like- I have corgis, I've just made a noise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the real queen has corgis. The real queen, yeah, but Golda. Golda's my queen. Yeah, me too. I really loved uh, the scene that I have with Anthony because again, it, it's, it's a, a meaty scene and it's sort of, it not only sort of describes the relationship she has with her daughter Daphne, but it also sort of uh, reveals the relationship she has with Anthony and the family. It's a huge scandal. It taints my family, my daughters, who I'm supposed to be getting married. And, and yeah, it's, it's bad news. I loved that. Why? Because it's drama. And I she was loves like drama. loving it, and then you hit me because I did like, hit you. Shut. We listen at the door. She gets a slap, which she is horrible. A, yeah. Do you know what I enjoy? Is that the girls' pregnancy tests are their sheets? Oh yeah, you're like, is it covered in blood? Is it not? Oh. <laughs> Punch him, Daphne. Punch him. You remember? Yes, and then Simon comes up, and it's all like yeah, it's bim bam bomb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two men fighting over there. Over the lady, but the lady, the lady, she can lady. do her own fighting. She can do her own Ooh. fighting. Oh, she's got a good yeah. left hook, that girl. Daphne. Mm. Trying to find out how babies are made. Well, I'm still working on it, actually. We don't know. Um, Some of us going to loan us a computer and we're going to Google it. And then, internet, we're going to know. And we're going to tell you it's all of you. It's an awful route, I think. It's a really awful route to find out how babies are made. They're both virgins who can't drive. Oh. You two are just virgins who can't, can't drive. drive. <laughs>